and I've enjoyed performing with them occasionally uh, down through the years. All of the Highlanders proved to be gentlemen type uh, people and good musicians. So when you went out to play, you didn't have to worry about uh, somebody coming in, coming in, not not in shape to play. <laughs> <laughs> Over the years, Don't I... Don't you have any stories on water that you can tell us that might be in the making? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll think of one little thing I thought was interesting. I, I live on an old kind of a homestead place, and uh, Willard was down there years ago, and uh, uh, we got to talking about the, the man that was there before I showed up. And he uh, he was a farmer and worked at uh, custodial work at a Warline school son. But uh, at one time he had a little sideline up the hollow there. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and when when Willard was down there years ago, uh, some way that. Uh, I ended up telling him about that little sideline this, this gentleman had up the hall, and so Willa took his camera up there and made a picture. There's a little, a little waterfall there, maybe a rock a little taller than from the floor to the ceiling here. Nice little place, and made a real good place for this this gentleman to get water to run his operation. <laughs> So uh, Willard, Willard made a picture of it, and he he added a uh, Marvin Cochran's little hand hound dog, and made him another little item or two, and it turned out to be one of his uh, outstanding uh, pencil drawings. So. Yeah, just to, to, to make it a little plainer, it's called "Still in the Holler." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's what you mean. <laughs> And uh, after all those years, though, uh, Willard never has paid me the royalties. <laughs> 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 uh, but you know, some of the rocks that that the gentleman had his his um, his copper steel set up on them, still up there in the hollow where you where Willard made the, made his picture. Well, I'm, I'm jacking too much.